Hello, my name is Steven. I am a developer relations advocate at Big Commerce, and in this tutorial series, we will be doing a brief overview of the product pertaining to the developer side. So, you just spun up your first Big Commerce storefront and want to tinker around and make it your own. But where do you begin? In this series, we will be taking you through the experience of a developer's journey from the first initial steps into the much larger world of development with Big Commerce. We're happy you're here. Please join us as we go through step one, opening an account and creating a storefront. So, when you first spin up your storefront, you'll notice that we have a two-step verification. For your security, this is a process that we are very proud of. If you're unfamiliar with two-step verification, you will be getting a verification code either through a process of your choice, either by text or email. Once you get that verification code, you can just click verify. and It'll take you right to your storefront dashboard. So when you're looking at your dashboard for the first time, it can be a little daunting. Where to begin to start tinkering around with your storefront? So let's start with some basic knowledge of where certain tools are located. This is beneficial for building a foundation of comfort for future tutorials. Most users, when they first start, if you haven't already with your own storefront, find themselves at the page builder. Here in the page builder, you can get a simple point and click of setting up very basic things for your layout, banners, widgets that are pre-built. Furthermore, if you go to edit your theme styles, you can find yourself going a little deeper to the back end. Before you can even get further into the back end, you need to make a copy of your current theme. We're going to call this one Cornerstone Custom. Once we have our custom theme, we can apply it. where we can edit our theme files. For those of you that are more code-based knowledge, you can do some edits to your site back here, though there are some limitations to only change certain design aspects, i.e., if you notice, you can't edit any of your schema or config files. We will talk about a better way to set this up to do more customizations on a local host 
to work heavily on themes, and we will go over this more in our stencil onboarding section. But for right now, this is a place where you can get comfortable, learn to do some creation, and some basic coding. Though we must caution you, any changes that are made cannot be undone unless you go back in and change the coding itself. The Big Commerce Help Center cannot go through and change this coding, but they can clock back your theme back to its basic setting. So, just a word of caution. Now, as a developer, you may be wanting to know where you can go to set things up for doing more in-depth app creation or dabbling in app creation or dabbling in creating channels and creating things that big commerce offers like headless integrations and all that before we get into all that you're going to need to learn about apis and where we can create api tokens and you can do that in your storefront if you go to settings and all the way down to API accounts, you will find a place where you can come and create an API. You'll notice that we have two token types, V2 or V3 API tokens, or version two and version three, and we will cover on that later, or a stencil CLI token for more theme-based changes, which we will cover on later. This is part of the knowledge you'll need to know for working on your development projects, along with the previously mentioned themes in your local host Stencil CLI. While we're here in the settings, let's take a look at where you can access and work on your GraphQL calls. If we go down right above our API account creation, we can go to a GraphQL playground. This is where we can work on making basic calls with our site, the pre-populated docs and schema outlets for all your GraphQL needs. We'll go over more of this and utilize this tool more in our GraphQL onboarding videos. But for just getting a sense of comfort when we discuss that more, you will know where to go to and head to when we start to work on that.